What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, week 92 of reselling online. And if you are new here, I've been doing this for 92 weeks and I've been documenting and sharing the journey since day one of all the ups and downs and everything in between. If you were here for week 91 or last week's video, I did share a little bit of a spoiler of me opening up a storage unit, which has basically been an upgrade to the business. In this video, today's video, I will be sharing a couple of things. Number one was putting my business eBay store into time away. And two was the idea of investing into my business. And of course, we're gonna to touch on the top five items that sold for this week and the actual weekly progress as well. And of course, if you stick around to the end, I will have some more show and tell of the storage unit. So make sure you do that. So week 92, sales have been down and it's all for a good reason. As I alluded to, I have purchased myself a storage unit and I've been actually having the time away in the store this week to actually move into that. But look, it's not that bad to be honest. Having putting the store in time away this week, look, the sales have dropped, the volume has dropped, the traffic has dropped, and per eBay, I'm down by about 15.6% revenue compared to last week. I'm not too concerned by this because, you know, there is a huge silver lining. I'm moving into a storage unit. I have made this huge investment for my business to move into the storage unit. And in theory and on paper, this is going to help me grow. We're going to talk about that shortly. Let's dive into the top sales for this week. So top item number one for this week was this RM Williams Ramco jeans. Now, these ones I picked up from a bulk lot. I did a big bulk purchase of this earlier this year. And I've been able to pick this up for $1.39. That's an average cost of good. And I've been able to sell it for $59.50 now after fees and postage, I have walked away with $38.69 back into my pocket. Top item number two for this week was this Get Smart, the complete series, five seasons. There was one disc missing, which I'm very clear in the description about. I've paid $3.66 for this, average cost of good once again, and I've been able to sell it for $58. Walked away with $35.19 back into my pocket after fees and postage. Now, top item number three for this week was this very best of Super Ted DVD. Now, this one is a sealed edition. Um, I've picked this up for $3.34. And I've been out of sale for $67.50. This one's going international, so I have got some extra savings on the international postage, and I've walked away with $30.35 after fees and postage. And top item number four for this week was the Seven Signs series book one to seven. Now, this was the complete set. Um, I purchased these paperback books from Savers. I paid about $18.76, so I did pay up for them. I've been able to sell these for $68, and after fees and postage, I've walked away with $25.34 back into my pocket. Now, the cool item or the interesting item for this week was a few weeks back, we did an episode where Carla went into Savers and she picked out an item for herself with me not, you know, getting involved. And she picked out this Bush Tucker Australia's Wild Food Harvest book. Now, she did pay $5 for it. That's how much it was. The average cost of good of that was actually $2.68 from the whole purchases that we made. And we actually had an offer for $40. It was listed at about $69. And I was originally thinking we would probably get $50. Uh, I did have someone offer $40. I spoke to her. She was happy to take it. We figured $40 today out of a $5 buy-in is going to be pretty good um, rather than waiting an extra, you know, however long for maybe an extra $10 or so. Very happy with this one. After fees and postage, we have walked away with an extra $18.32 back into our pockets. However, the whole cool process of this has revealed that we've been able to turn $5 into $40 cash flow. Not too bad. And that one sat around for not too long. It's been probably about four or five weeks. How has the week been? All things considered, it's, it's actually been pretty good. 48 sales, margin was around 44%. Uh, cost of goods, $119. We've actually sold $1,177 worth this week uh, and profited $524. Now, ASP was around $24.53 and the cycle time of items that have been selling has been about 99 days on average. You can see all the items that have been selling for this week. Always very interesting to see what has been selling. So you can have a look for yourself. Now, as I noted, I did put the store in time away. If you don't know about this, I'll put some details in the description below and you can go read up on it. But essentially, it enables me to be able to not hinder my sales. I still had sales turned on. I was still listing every day. It basically just meant that I wasn't going to be doing any sending or anything like that until the time I returned from my store. Store. Now I had done seven days on this one. So technically today is Monday. The store comes out of time away today and I don't have to post till Thursday. So it's just giving me a really good buffer to be able to, you know, start to move into the storage unit. Now at the same time in doing so, I actually added a 15% off everything sale or a moving sale to help me I guess get a bit more cash flow coming in for the week because at the start of the week it was really slow. I wasn't getting any traffic. 
as soon as I bumped up that 15% off sale, I've been able to get quite a few more sales, which has helped not hinder the store too much. Now, in terms of actually moving into a storage unit, this has not been a light decision. It's been something which I've been doing a lot of thinking about and planning, and I'm gonna be doing a full video of this, of end-to-end -end of you know me coming to that conclusion and then actually moving in. I just haven't finalized moving in yet, so I don't have all those details. But if you've got any questions at this point that you wanna ask, chuck them down below and I'll try and answer any of those questions in the one video. But of course, as I go, I'll be learning heaps anyway, so I'm sure there'll be plenty more questions and answers to come. But the whole idea behind this investment was to save time with workflows, to enable a better time spent with my own time, and to convert that saved time into more opportunity creation. And what I mean by that is whether it's sourcing, listing, selling, anything like that, and actually uplifting my store or my sales or my eBay business for the better. Now, currently on average, and I've been documenting this since the start of the financial year, I spend about 2.7 hours a day in the business or 19 hours per week or roughly 82 hours a month. That's how much time I'm spending doing everything, you know, whether it's posting, listing, photos, sending, all that, picking, packing, everything in between. And this is a breakdown of those categories so you can see for yourself. Now, on average, that works out to be about $521 of new listings an hour when I'm doing listings. It's not sales, it's just opportunity. And then when I do sell stuff, on average, it's worked out from the time that I'm spending in my business to the profit that's coming back into my pocket, I'm working out to be earning around $53 per hour, which isn't too bad. And this is after actual sales. So it would make sense that me moving into this storage unit, that it's going to help see a lot of these things increase. Now, I will be frank, the storage unit is gonna be costing me around $500 a month. And that's essentially 10 hours worth of work in the current understanding. So the question will be, can I enable an extra 10 hours of work per month? So if I can save basically about 10% as a minimum per month in this newfound workflow increase or productivity increase or ways of doing business, that's about 8.2 hours enablement or $434 if we talk about profit. So I'm estimating on paper that it should be about 15 to 20% improvement with time, which means I'll be obviously beating that $434 and beating that $500. But of course, this is all on paper. This is all on theory. And I have to actually do the work and see what happens. So come along for the ride and see, <laughs> see if we make this happen. I'm pretty excited to see if we can make it happen. Now, I do have a sneak peek for you of the unit, so make sure you do stick around for that. But I'm excited to see what this actually opens up and it also further enables some new opportunities. It's going to enable me to do a better picking process, a better shipping and packing process, a better photo and listing process. And also just excited to learn new ways of doing things in my business, which you know I haven't done before. I'm also excited to be able to share some new kind of videos and content that I haven't been able to create for you guys before. Some of the things I used to hesitate in sharing or not wanting to share simply because being at home, you know, it's private. I wanted to be personal about some of that stuff and I didn't want to be sharing the layouts of where things are in my home, uh, which I hope you can understand. But now that I'll be off premise and I'll be in a new place where I can operate and things will be a lot easier to do, I'll have some new chances to be able to share some of that content. And I've got some exciting things that I've been thinking about that I really want to share and actually document with you. So without any further delay, let's have a look at the storage unit. If you do have any questions, comments, chuck them down below and I'll do my best to answer them as we proceed over the coming weeks. Enjoy. Time to move in. All right, so we've got the layout all set up, somewhat. Still gotta get some lighting in here. And today we're putting all this right in here. See how it goes and yeah, should be pretty, pretty good. And this is essentially, we're gonna have packing station and working station, and then also a listing station or photo station right here. Photo station, not doing that today. It's mainly just the workstation and packing station. So yeah, we've got my trusty little, uh, Working hand with me today as well. Yeah. <laughs> Alright team, let's make it happen. Ta-da! Alright, so set up this workbench. It's got a little nook in here, so I'll be putting like a bar stool kind of thing. All packaging will be going in this. Be putting some bubble wrap up above. Um, here's the second workstation. It's not really a workstation, it's more when I'm processing stuff for listings. This will change, but listings will uh can all be laid up here and then I can take photos and then go put into storage um, and vice versa for packaging. So that's really good. And then over here, storage, 
Kyle has set it in, lighting is still coming. Um, but I'm pretty happy with this. Look, it might slightly change a little bit once we start to bring stuff in, but I'm pretty happy with this. Carla approves, she looks like she's, yeah, you look like you've really settled in. Jeepers. <laughs> 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 so, oh no, it's, it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with all this, so it's really, really good. Um, and it didn't take too long to do, actually. Next move is to bring all the stock over, hey? Yeah. All right, team, really do appreciate you. If you've got any questions, do let me know. Um, of course, this isn't the end. There's still more to come, so. <laughs> All right, team, here is a little bit more of a sneak peek of what's to come. I'll be taking through all this later, but um, just spent the weekend or the week actually bringing in all of this. And everything that I want here is almost here. Still got to bring a bit more media here. All this is yet to be a bit more congested in terms of squeezed up a bit, but for now it's more just for knowing where things are. And games still need to be put through together. Got more books here. We'll do it is here. So yeah, not too bad, not too bad. And then we've got Carla and Mum, and this is the workstation, still finalising it. Bubble wrap's gonna go up here. This will be the new listing station over here. So still got a fair bit to do, but we're getting there.